In part 2 I'll be making a terrain, showing you how to color it, and going over some other bits and bobs that I like doing. I'm going to give myself around 10 minutes to build up a terrain, and then we're going to color it and maybe add some assets on top. Alright, let's get going. So for the first part, I'm just going to take the painter, take my stone that I've already got selected from the from the menu, and just paint where I'm going to have my terrain. As I'm going to be using the sculpt tool as well, which kind of draws from the from the terrain itself. We'll go for something like kind of an island shape, but um, in this case more mountainous and cliffy. It's something that I like doing is uh, switching between a lot of tools very quickly um, and just have a have a workflow. I think it's very important to always experiment with your with your brushes, with your items, and keep looking. Um, you are using a three program after all in some sense, so I'll be switching around. Maybe you want a bay inside, so you could have something along those lines and kind of build that up. So I like this kind of pillar idea. I really like using the slope tool. Kind of can give a quick feeling. I'm gonna weld along the edges here. Bring some more terrain into play. Also, the way I move the camera is mo mostly by pressing control, the left control, and going with my left mouse button. So I like this kind of rock face. Maybe we can combine it with maybe not an arch, um, or maybe it is an arch. What's also very important, like with any 3D program, is kind of learn the um, the hotkeys. As the hotkeys can definitely um, help you in getting things done a lot quicker than without them. Just welding things together. Welding and melting definitely helps shape the terrain. It's becoming maybe a bit too smooth now. Also, we don't really have any blocks uh, or any pillars as the rest. So I think I'm just gonna add some little rocks in with the sculpt tool here, just to give it a bit more context as to why there might be a pillar here. Maybe the pil other pillars have already broken down. And introduce maybe a slope again. Got that cliffy uh, kind of feeling with the a bit more beach feeling. Kind of got this indent here. I'll try joining this together a bit more. You can kind of spam click the smooth brush to get all this layering smoothed out. I'm not happy with this rock at the moment, so I think I'm gonna just melt it in a little bit. Sometimes it's just good to destroy or kind of to melt away your your work before starting up on it again. I'm trying to get some sort of more um, rounded shapes out. With the preview, you can also well see the preview of what you're actually doing, which can be a good help if you know if you've done something correctly or not. I have no problem with having the uh, uh, smoother sections at the bottom. Let's weld this all back up. Could even go for uh, like maybe a bit of a... The octahedron is actually quite nice, I have to say. I know they're going to add some um, other tools in in the next few versions. I'll, or Well, not other tools, but essentially other parts to the uh, already existing tools. I'm not really that happy with, the, with what's happened here. Move these edges a bit out. So it looks a bit more like, whoops, one rock rather than a million. I like these kind of cracks in between the rocks. We'll give it more of a plastic look afterwards. This cliff needs a little bit more love. We're just adding something as simple as a few little rocks back in. I'm trying to build up something here I do feel like the cliff hasn't been able to really stand on its own just had a way too smooth feeling compared to the rest of the terrain
that's not working um for this section try welding this a bit together again Just trying to get all this cliffy feeling, but also make it so that it's not overhanging too much. The weld's really helping with that now. Smooth some of it. Just want to get some of the extra blocks. All right, I think I am pretty happy with what we have here. We have a nice little rocky terrain that we're now gonna color. So coloring, I'm just going to be using the painter with different levels or different angles. Gonna be first using the grass block. So I'm going to be masking the stone block, but I'm gonna need an all mask. I'm gonna take this stone block and I'm gonna take the angle. So now I've got that top layer. I'm gonna have my terrain a bit greener, which means that I am going to go for the moss block. So we can go for maybe a bit of a darker look pinning. So we can first have some cobblestone and then go into kind of the tough, the tough deep slate blocks. That's kind of my favorite way to color terrain. Go for noise bender, the mask stays. So instead of just having cobblestone, we can also change this value to maybe a negative 20. Kind of see how I'm affecting this terrain already. Now we're gonna go into tough. what I want to change. I want to change this to deep slate, just the standard. And then we'll get those uh, bottom block, maybe um, the cobbled deep slate as well. So have that option. So I'm gonna change the symbol around. gonna go into the stump tool now and since I have a lot of palm trees I'm just going to be using a lot of these this is our kind of palm tree that we made for the part one of this video but I'm gonna be using some that I've uh, made for other builds trying to stick mostly to the slopes this is a lot easier than making any stencil list and that's how you can easily create a palm covered terrain Plantaminator. Going back to the mask of less than equal to 45, we can add some grass where we please on top of the other grass that we already have. So painting on a luscious biome. Then we can exit the mode, editor mode. And we have a lovely little terrain. With lots of palm trees. Now for a quick shot around the terrain. Again, big thank you to Soko and Mulberry for making Axiom. It's a great tool to use and has definitely improved my workflow. I hope you liked this video. Leave a like if you did, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Goodbye, and I'll see you next video.